Hey guys, it's Dan, your host, Judy Inch Reviews, and today I'm back for another Walking Dead video for today. We are here to do another Q&A video leading up to episode 22 of The Walking Dead, which airs this Sunday on AMC+. We're also going to discuss some of the Walking Dead spinoff shows like Dead City, The Daryl Show, The Rick series, and when we can expect all of these shows to air. Alright guys, this one's going to be doing out a video today, this one's going to be doing out a video for today, this one's going to be doing another Q&A video for The Walking Dead main series leading up to episode 22, which is going to be airing this Sunday on AMC+, Plus, the third last episode of The Walking Dead. What the frag, man? <laughs> like, seriously, how did we get here, man? So, uh, got some more comments, got some more Q&A comments from you guys uh, to go through for today. Definitely wanted to go ahead and do that because uh, the episode is going to be airing this Sunday. Uh, I don't know if I'll be doing another one before that time. I guess it all just depends on how many Q&A comments I get for this video. But if you have any more questions, I, yeah, I suppose you can leave them down below because I might have time to do one on uh, uh, Saturday, which will be tomorrow. I might have time to do one more, uh, but I can't promise anything, but I, I probably will have time. So anyway, um, so yeah, if you have any more Q&A comments, just leave that down below. But anyway, uh, let's get into the Walking Dead uh, spinoff show. So the first one came from Epic Zombie Killer, who told us that uh, the Dead City Walking Dead spinoff series is done. Uh, that is confirmed now. That is done filming. But when do you think we can expect all of these spinoffs, in particular Dead City? Now, for Epic's comments, uh, Dead City has been confirmed for April of next year, so that's already confirmed. We're going to be getting those six episodes in April. Uh, I believe probably early April if I had to make some sort of prediction, but the other two shows. Now, when can we expect the Daryl show to come out? When can we expect the Rick show to come out? And I guess really it's just simple predictions at this point, you know, because the Daryl show has only started filming this past week, and the Rick show is only going to start filming in spring. So it's kind of telling what's going to be airing first, right? Like, Dead City will be the first, that'll be in April, and then then we'll get the Daryl show, and then in the fall we're going to get the Rick show, which that's what I'm thinking they're going to do, and this is how I could see the year going for the Walking Dead universe, at least to make some sort of predictions, is... I think we're going to get Fear the Walking Dead 8A in February, then that's going to spill into Dead City in April, then I think we're going to get 8B of Fear the Walking Dead uh, probably around June, right, something like that, and then uh, we're going to get the Daryl show I could see being in like August or something, then I think the Rick show will be in October, and then at the end of November, early December, something like that, uh, the Rick show will have been wrapped, and that'll be the Walking Dead universe for that year. That That's what I think we're going to get, uh, because we we have not gotten confirmation on Tails, thank God, uh, <laughs> <whew! laughs> but uh, <laughs> you know, I'm happy that the Walking Dead shows are going to be going throughout the entire year. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, but that's when I can expect all the shows to come out, you know, and what time of the year. So should be a lot of fun. We're going to be very entertained with the Walking Dead universe, and you know, that's why as I'm sad as I am for the main show uh, to be concluding in three weeks, or I guess technically... Um, four weeks because we got to wait for the series finale, uh, two weeks that is, for the AMC Plus subscribers, but uh, I'm excited, you know, I think it's going to be a very, very fun show, I think uh, all these shows are going to be good, and we're going to be very busy next year with the Walking Dead universe, you know, and I've, I've had a lot of people ask me that too, like, you know, Dan, uh, are you going to be still doing videos next year when the main Walking Dead's done, and I mean, I think that's a pretty obvious one, absolutely, we're still going to be doing videos, we're still going to have all this stuff to cover, if anything, I think we're going to be overly busy next year to be honest, I think we're gonna have so many reviews to be done that it's gonna be overwhelming. <laughs> but uh, I'm here for it. I'm here for the Walking Dead universe. I'm here to see what they've got for us, and um, you know, we'll see what they've got, uh, the good and the bad. You know, uh, I like to cover it all, so we'll see what they have. Walking Dead universe. I'm pretty sure it's an obvious one on this channel. It's number one priority when it comes to the content. So yeah, definitely looking forward to uh, seeing what the Walking Dead universe has for us next year, and it should be a lot of fun. Uh, next one comes from Look at the Flowers. Uh, I love your username, by the way. Uh, friggin' Carol, what a badass scene with her with Lizzie. But uh, anyway, uh, this one says, uh, what do you think Virgil was? Do you think he made it back to the Commonwealth? And if so, uh, do, what do you think he was? Like a scientist or a doctor? What do you think Virgil was? So I don't know. Um, to know what the drug Michonne with in episode 13, you, you tend to think maybe he had some sort of like 
maybe medical experience, but I mean, I don't know. I, I don't get that vibe from him. Uh, I mean, he, he might have. He definitely seems like a smart guy for sure, but um, I don't know. The, the thing is, and the unfortunate thing about your comment, look at the flowers, is that I don't think we're going to get any type of answer on Virgil at all. I don't think we're even going to potentially see him again, and if we do, I think it's going to be very brief. So, as I've said in recent videos, I think Virgil should have just been killed off in season 10, or season 11, episode 6. I think he should have sacrificed himself for Connie. Unless he drops some, like, big Rick information, then, yeah, no. I don't think that's really going to be uh, a useful character in these final three episodes, unfortunately, because I thought Virgil was going to be kind of coming around and slowly get, like, a redemption arc, and then, yeah, he just hasn't really done anything. So, kind of disappointed in the Virgil character, i got to be honest. Uh, and then the last one we'll go through for today is from L, who says that, uh, yes, the Gabriel and Rosita breakup is real. Uh, Angela Kang did uh, say it on the episode, and uh, they kind of give their thoughts on that. So, I got a lot of your guys' reactions to the Gabriel and Rosita breakup off-screen scene. I'm not exactly sure what's going on there and uh, why that happened. Again, it's just such a random breakup to me. It's such a random scene. But, um, you know, the two of them breaking up, like I said, I never really cared for the relationship in the show. I just never was really that into it. I think Rosita and Gabriel was a very, oh, random, oh, characters, you know, all randomly they sleep with each other, you know, and I really enjoy uh, Angela Kang's writing. I really do, and I want to make sure I specify that. I really enjoy what she's done with these past few seasons, but I will say one thing that definitely bothers me with her writing, and that is the relationships. I think the relationships ever since season nine have been so forced, it's unbelievable, and now it's like she's going back on it for some reason. I, I don't know why, but um, I feel like Angela Kang has just done way too many relationships in the show. Uh, a lot of them just do not fit, like Jadis and Gabriel. I never found that really fit, to be honest. Uh, same thing with Rosita and Gabriel. I just, I don't really think Rosita and Gabriel make sense, and I don't really think Gabriel needs a love interest, to be honest. I don't really think he does. Uh, it just doesn't seem like that type of storyline for someone like him. Um, but um, I don't know. I don't feel like Gabriel really needed a, um, a companion, in a way. I, I just don't feel like the character needed it. And I feel like Rosita was just such a random choice, uh, especially because she already had the thing going on with Sadiq and then the stuff with Eugene. Adding Gabriel to the mix and like it's just it's a very, very, very weird storyline. Uh, literally all that Rosita was in season nine was whose bo uh, who's boyfriend is she, you know, picking? Like who's, you know, who's her boyfriend? Who's she going to be choosing? That sort of thing. Is it going to be Eugene? Is it going to be, you know, uh, Sadiq? Is it going to be Gabriel? You know, that's basically Rosita's arc in a nutshell in season nine. So I don't know. Very weird stuff. And the fact they broke up off screen, that kind of tells you that Angela Kang wasn't even feeling that relationship anymore. So, uh, I don't know. And the fact that they broke up off screen as well, too, shows you the importance of that relationship. So, anyway, make sure to write your comments in the comment section below. Let me know in the comments as well, too. When do you expect all of these Walking Dead Universe properties to come out? The Daryl Show, the Dead City series, the Rick, uh, Rick and Michonne series, all that fun stuff. And uh, even Fear of the Walking Dead. And uh, do you think we'll get a season two of Tales of the Walking Dead? Let me know. But, uh, anyway... If you're new to the channel, make sure to click that subscribe button to miss any other videos like this for The Walking Dead. Make sure to follow me on Dan's The Walking Dead reviews on Instagram, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys really soon for more Walking Dead videos. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out. Heard stories, walkers that can climb walls and open doors. I was never sure if they were just stories.